speaking of our final topic of discussion uh, in Road Reflection is uh, something called Burn the DNC. B-E-R-N. Burn the DNC. Uh, my, my good friend Eleanor Goldfield, my friend Nick Branna, uh, uh, and uh, Caitlin... I'm, gonna, I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher some of these names. Uh, Caitlin Sapaki Belkin, Belknap, uh, sorry, uh, Philip Aletto, and Shelly Williams. I'm sorry if I fucked up your names, uh, but uh, these folks have started an organization, uh, a grassroots organization called Burn the DNC, B E R N the DNC. And um, basically, uh, it's a movement. It's a movement about getting people organized to take our democracy back. That's what it's about. And that's what we need. We need a move. We, uh, you know, Bernie started this in 2016. We just need to see a concrete movement that's actually going to fucking do it. And these, and, and uh, you know, I, Eleanor Goldfield, if you don't know Eleanor, she's fucking badass. She, she was a rooftop revolutionary. She does, uh, she's coming out with an album. She, uh, 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 every time I fucking see her open for Lee, it's, it's magical and phenomenal. Uh, she does amazing spoken word. Uh, check out her. She used to do a show called Act Out. Um, make sure you, you... I mean, it's, it's a wealth of knowledge. I've, I've used her as a, as a source of real journalism before. Nick Branagh, who's been on my podcast. Oh, both of these people have been on my podcast, by the way. Uh, he was part of the, uh, the Bernie Sanders campaign. He's part of the Movement for a People uh, Party. Um, and this guy is incredibly knowledgeable about how the election system works, how they fucked over Bernie, because the DNC is a private organization that controls our election, and they get to do whatever the fuck they want, need more votes, and all that kind of shit. I'm not sure who Caitlin, Phil, and Shelly are, but I'm sure I will get to know them over the course of the next few months. Um, hopefully. Uh, because this is something we need to we, we need in our society. is a movement that's going to help take our democracy back through grassroots organization, activism, and art. I fucking talk about this shit as much as I possibly can. It's what we need, right? And here's the thing. It says burn the DNC, and it sounds like it's just for burning people, and it's not just for... It's for everybody. Everybody that wants a fair election, a fair democracy, that, that wants a, 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 a government system that works for the people, by the people. It's for all of us. They wrote, um, they wrote a piece for Common Dreams. This is where I first saw this thing that came out. I was very excited to read it and talk about it. Um, and then it disappeared off Common Dreams. So they reposted it on their website, burnthednc.org. B-E-R-N, the dnc.org. Um, and here's the thing. It kind of talks about what their movement is about, right? Uh, and, uh, and it basically said, look, we know the game and we're not playing. We're not playing these DNC games. This is the thing that I, I get into is, you know, people people talk about politics in the framework of how the establishment has set it up. And I have no interest in talking about it in the, in the terms of the framework of how the establishment has set it up. And how to keep it in the framework of what the establishment has set it up. I don't give a fuck. I am talking about uh, radical transformational change that we need to achieve and how we can do it on a grassroots level. I've been talking about different things about how Bernie is not the be-all and all of this fucking movement. What he is, um, is it, I, I think Bernie realistically is a very good mascot for it. I think he is, he's, he, he's, he's kind of the, the, the popular figure that talks about a lot of the ideas that these movements are talking about. But these movements are the ones that really need the support on the ground level, hitting the floor, working on these smaller communities and spreading that around. Black Panthers did it, the DSA did it, now burn the DNC is going to keep doing it. They say, as our voices will be heard and will not be ignored. Fuck yeah, we, but because that's how it seems like. A lot of people don't turn out to vote because they feel like their voices aren't really being heard. Their voices are being ignored. Their voices are are are, uh, are forgotten. And, uh, and these guys are saying, no. We are not going to accept that. I was watching a Jimmy Dore clip where they where they uh, showed a, uh, an interview on MSNBC or CNN. I forget. All that garbage seems to blend in together. 
Um, and, um, you know, I, uh, this guy basically said, you know, uh, the primary process is, is really about the establishment picking their candidate, uh, and then, uh, and then we get to vote for that candidate. That's not a democracy. These conventions have rules, and Bernie Sanders needs to adhere to these rules, which means that, uh, when, when they steal the election from him again, uh, that he just kind of needs to go along with it because that's, that's the rules. That's the rules. That's how you got to follow. Well, you got fucking shit rules. And I think it's about a time for fucking changing those goddamn rules. This is why people don't vote because they don't think their voice is being heard. Well, that has to change. That will change. That only changes when we make that change happen. So they go on to say in this article uh, that it's ins- insurance for the shitstorm that's coming, and 100 fucking percent, there is a shitstorm coming. I mean, you see how desperate they are when uh, uh, when former fake journalist Chris Matthews uh, has to say that a Jewish senator is a Nazi. It's like, what? Listen to that sentence. How is there just like, um, my money is gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be rich. Anymore, other, I'm gonna have to take care of some people I, I, I haven't met. Uh, uh, Jewish Nazi! And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're desperate, they're scared. They know that the, they know that, that the populace is changing. They know that the populace wants something different. They know that they're, we're fighting to get it. And they know that we're uh, trying to elect somebody that is going to help us fight and get it, right? Bernie Sanders, uh, I think that it's, uh, uh, some, some people have called him the organizer in chief is what he'll be. Great, fuck yeah. We need a president that's actually going to support activism and protests. Not petition for all these fucking laws that are out there in the state that I'm currently driving through, Louisiana, that, that, uh, that fucking penalize activism. That criminalize protesting fucking pipelines that are going to destroy uh, really what, what is when I drive through in a beautiful state. Eleanor Goldfield has, has gone down and she fucking reported on all this, all that pipeline stuff. All, all the fuckery that the corporations did. All the fucking bullshit that they pulled against those protesters. Part of this organization. There's a shitstorm coming and you know what? After all this stuff with Super Tuesday, I'm waiting to see what, what it was, you know? Where, where, where was the fuckery? Where did that happen? I'm waiting for it. So, if the DNC pulls what it does pull, what's the plan? The plan is to have a non-violence shutdown of the Milwaukee National Convention. A non-violent shutdown of the Milwaukee National Convention. Uh, if they pull some bullshit, uh, if they go to the, the, the second, whatever, second vote or the second ballot or whatever, I, I don't remember exactly what it's called. Every time people try to explain this process to me, I'm just like, why can't we just vote and the person with the most amount of votes gets the fucking primary? What, what the, because it's DNC, is a private corporation that runs our elections, so they have to run it in a way that they have full control over what is actually possible and what is not. Uh, it's, too, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but this is, but really what the nonviolent pr- protest is going to be about is self-determination of democracy for and by the people. That's what this is all about. So, uh, if you watch this video, I highly urge you to go to burnthednc.org, B-E-R-N, thednc.org, uh, sign up for their mailing list, uh, to see how you can help, uh, become, uh, an organizer, become an activist, become an artist that's part of that platform, uh, put together, um, put together a committee, see what they need, uh, uh, I, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to stay as active and on top of this shit as possible. 
Um, I have a you know pretty kind of crazy rigorous touring schedule, but it, that's fine. I'll I'll do anything that I can to help. I'm talking about this shit, getting it out there as much as I can. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do that. BurnTheDNC.org. B-E-R-N the DNC dot org. Go there, support these folks, support support fucking local community action, support grassroots level actions. That's what we need for them. BurnTheDNC.org, guys. Go check them out. Hey everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you are a a uh, first time viewer uh, of these videos, first time viewer of these, uh, or a listener of these videos, please subscribe. Please make sure that you are subscribed and come back to check out other videos. I talk about uh, a variety of political, philosophical, and sociological topics uh, uh, c quite often on this channel. Sometimes we also get pretty nerdy on this channel. I gotta talk about some nerdy comic booky anime type shit. I'm into that as well. So if you're into that sort of stuff and this is your first time that you're catching this video, Hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you are liked and subscribed to this page uh, to get all of the updates when I put uh, put out more videos. And if you are a returning user, welcome back. Thank you so much for, for, for being a returning viewer uh, of these videos. Uh, if you enjoy the type of material that we are talking about in these videos, then there is a very good chance uh, that you will enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I'm a live stand-up comedian as well as uh, a, a guy that yells in my car. Uh, I've got live stand-up comedy tour dates coming up uh, in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, Moline, Illinois, the Quad Cities area, Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm going to be recording my live stand-up comedy album March 20th in Washington, D.C., March 21st in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and April 2nd through the 4th at the Pittsburgh Fringe Festival. Uh, I'm also opening for my good friend Lee Camp uh, with special guest Eleanor Goldfield on some of these shows. Uh, Lee is doing a book release tour, and if you purchase VIP tickets of his stand-up comedy shows, you get a free copy of his book and uh, a free souvenir of his latest comedy special as well. Uh, Lee in, uh, is going to be coming to Flagstaff, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Asheville, North Carolina, two shows in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Burlington, Vermont, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Ottawa, Ontario, and so many more dates. You can check out my entire touring schedule, including one I'm going to be opening up for Lee Camp uh, at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Uh, grab those tickets. Come hang out with me. Come, let's get weird. Let's get esoteric. Let's talk about some deep shit. Uh, if you want to become a sustaining member to help improve the quality and quantity of these videos and uh, the writings that I would do regularly on my website, uh, there are very simple ways that you can become a sustaining member and contribute financially. Uh, first and foremost is Patreon at patreon.com slash Moment. Ha ha! Uh, you can check out the rewards and the tiers and the goals that you would help support. Another way is by donating directly on my website at ramennoodlescomedy.com. R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. You see these big orange buttons, uh, and there are various different levels that you can contribute. Various different levels that will get you various different little uh, prizes and stuff like that. Uh, that you can direct, directly donate onto my website if you don't want to go through a third-party thing. And the last and final way is uh, by becoming a sustaining member on my Bandcamp page at ramennoodlescomedy.bandcamp.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.bandcamp.com. Uh, you can become a sustaining member, uh, and you get uh, unreleased uh, comedy and storytelling content that aren't released on any other live comedy albums or uh, on YouTube or any, any of that sort of stuff. It's exclusive collections for the people that become sustaining members. Also, if you listen to my podcast on Anchor.fm, if you listen to the audio version of my podcast, you can listen to it on Anchor.fm and become a sustaining member directly there. So you would be directly 
uh, helping out the podcast uh, through through that as well. So if you don't want to go through these third party channels and you want to go direct, that's one of the ways to do that as well. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for uh, getting all the way to the end, hearing me ramble about some shit at the very end of it. I very, very much appreciate it. I hope to see you guys at a live show. I hope you guys share this video around, show it to some people that you think would really enjoy it, or to, to some of your enemies to enlighten them a little bit more. Uh, but uh, till the next video, see you on the road.